Uh, it's always a pleasure to talk about the Wambu uh, Children's Village uh, program. We are here for the children that have lost parental care or are at risk of losing parental care. In the SOS Children's Village program, we have uh, two uh, areas of intervention. We have uh, the family-based care uh, response, which is uh, through the SOS Children's Village, and we have the community response, where we work with families of origin, which is the family strengthening uh, program. The SOS Children's Village in Wambo is located in the Cambiote area and uh, in this Cambiote area is also uh, an area where we have a vulnerable, a vulnerable community. During the war uh, many uh, family uh, uh, refugees have settled around, around this area. So we decided to build the village here because we thought we would also make difference in the community. We believe that the right place for a child to grow is within a family. We have uh, 12 family houses in the village. We have uh, um, one uh, key uh, core care personnel, which are the, the SOS mothers, because they are the leaders, the responsible for providing direct care uh, to our children. And those mothers are supported by our administrative staff. Uh, that make sure that uh, all the resources are available for the mother to do the job. And at the moment we have uh, full capacity in the village. 120 children are admitted into 12 uh, families. My first and uh, immediate uh, reference as uh, success is the fact that uh, many children here in our um, program have hope. Uh, they are no longer trapped into the poverty cycle, into the violence cycle, into the abandonment cycle. They have an opportunity to grow in a stable family environment and they develop to become successful adults. I call me Cristina Cristina da Silva Chituamo. I have my two children and I live in this house. I am very happy to see you here and visit us always, to meet us and meet us always. Também está fazendo muito trabalho para nós. Continue, porque não é normal a nos aguentar dessa forma. Estamos a vos gostar muito. O vosso trabalho é muito, é muito, muito importante. Porque só Deus pode vos abençoar. E um dia, para nós, vamos receber o nosso gadão lá no céu, não aqui na terra. La pandula a suco, oenda e oveira this is not in the village, this is the response we do in the community, in the families of origin. We know that there are many uh, causes that are making, many factors that are making children to be at risk of losing uh, the care of their parents. Uh, in the context of Angola, we can uh, identify uh, poverty, extreme poverty, as making uh, children to be at risk. Uh, the households are so vulnerable. And uh, in this category of vulnerable households, I can also mention the households where uh, the mother is a widow uh, living with the children in the poverty or in the, the households where we have uh, uh, old people living with the children. I don't me preocupo. Basta ir mesmo no coiso, no jardim, informar o que falta na minha criança. O coisa, o programa ajudam. E agora eu quero mais que essa ajuda que me fizeram também façam nas outras também que estão a passar mal e como nós. So SOS comes and does strengthening of the family. All the resources that the family needs to source so that the children can be maintained in the original family and they enjoy all the, the, the children's rights of education, of shelter, of uh, uh, food, uh, and this is what the program is all about, strengthening the family so that the children don't go into the abandonment.
education is uh, one very important intervention in, in, in our program in Wambu, uh, especially uh, in, in the context of Angola in general, where uh, the literacy level is very low and uh, we also uh, don't have the human resource that we need to drive the development of the country. One way in which we are doing it is to run uh, education facilities, a school and a kindergarten. Uh, the kindergarten is um, the uh, preschool that we offer to children from the age of three to um, five years old uh, in, in preparation for school. And children are better prepared and they can cope with the uh, private school easily with this uh, three years preparation. Então vamos correr! Então vamos nadar! School is um, where we have here in the Cambiote school is uh, where we have the uh, from grade one to grade nine. And here in Cambiot School, we want to equip children for life. Uh, and for that, we have uh, many different services. So apart from the normal classes, we have uh, physics education classes, we have computers classes, we have uh, sewing and cooking classes. We have also English and singing lessons, all to equip children for life. Fagfubudent with uh, their own values of uh, solidarity, it one key value, um, has embraced the cause of the Angolan children. And uh, Fagfubudent, uh, with the, the mobilization of uh, friends uh, to set up uh, the program in Wambu, has uh, embarked on um, uh, providing uh, the home for the uh, children, uh, vulnerable children. So. Uh, we say that yes, Fag for Buden uh, is fulfilling its values, but you know, on the other hand, is is giving this hope to the Angolan children. always had the perception that if someone from outside is supporting you, it must be someone rich, uh, someone with a lot of money. And uh, I personally uh, testified uh, that this is not so when we talk about Fag for Buden. Being in Norway, I noticed that it's the normal working uh, employee that it is um, uh, uh, putting aside uh, some of the income to support uh, our children in Angola. <laughs> it's something that touched us deeply and which we encourage uh, uh, 
uh, Fact for Putin to keep this as a strong value among, among the employees. <laughs> I always say that uh, to work for SOS you have to have uh, um, love. It's, it's, it's essential that you actually like what you are doing, you have a passion uh, for it. But you have to have uh, commitment and courage. And uh, courage for me is crucial because there are times when things are really tough. Uh, and uh, it takes you to mobilize all the energy you have to, uh, to keep on uh, going. Muito obrigado pela visita, que continua a nos visitar e muito obrigado pelo trabalho. Alô, Noruega!